Today we'll be looking at some more parables, uh, three of them actually, and I called it the three parables about seas. If you look at the picture here, it's entitled the tares, uh, which is an old word uh, for things that got in your crop, you know, that you didn't want there, weeds or poisonous things. あの、絵を、ご覧になれば、それはどこ麦のものであって、それはもう麦の中にその毒麦も入ってしまう雑草でも毒があるそうですから、本当に危険なものです。それはもう第一、今日与えられた例え話を指していますね。so we'll start with our first parable about the seeds here, which is the parable of the tares or the parable of the weeds. And we're in Matthew chapter 13, uh, starting at verse 24. Matai ni yoru fukun shō, jū san shō, ni jūon setsukara. Jesus told him another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, the enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. イエスは別の例えを持ち出して言われた。天の国は次のように例えられる。ある人が良い種を畑に蒔いた。人々が眠っている間に敵が来て麦の中に毒麦を蒔いていた。So what we first notice here is that we've got a planting of the good seed and then we've got an enemy who comes and plants weeds. While no one's looking. もう、すぐ気づくと思いますけれども、良い種を蒔いてから夜で身の穴っている間にこの敵が来て毒麦を蒔いてしまった。この絵はそれを描いています。This picture shows that scene as one person imagined here. While the men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares. ひとびとが眠っている間に敵が来て Let's go on. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. And, you know, we can imagine this if we look at this example. Here's wheat and here's uh, darnel, actually, which is a sort of a poisonous weed or a tear that grew amongst the wheat. And this is what the enemy came and planted in the parable. And you, they look a lot alike, especially when they're young. So, But the master says, Demo sono dana sama wa koi warete. Kare iri made, roho tomo, sodatsu mama ni shite okinasai. Kare iri no toki, mazu doku mugi o atsume, yaku tame ni tabeni shi, mugi no ho wa atsumete kure ni iri nasai to, kare toru mono ni itsuke yo. Let both grow together until the harvest, the master said. At that time I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned, then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. 
So here's a painting that shows that scene of the harvest, Shukaku no Koto ni Kanjite no Ei desu ne. And you can see off to the right side of the painting, you can see the fire in the background. It's a little hard to see. It's kind of an old painting. Ma furui ei desu kara choto ma miniku ei desu kiri. Ma migi no ho ni sono yaite iru dokumugi ga atte hidari no ho ni sono kura ga arimasu ne yoi mugi no tame. And on the left side, we see the storehouse where the wheat is being taken uh, by the servants. Suzuite, choto tobima, sanju rokusets made. And we're going to jump ahead to verse 36 to the explanation of the meaning of this parable. Kono tatoe no imi o setsume suru tokuro desu ne, shi yesu wa iwareta kono ato. Sore kari yesu wa gunshu o ato ni nokoshite ii ni ohari ni nata suru to, deshi tachi ga sobe ni yotte kitte, hataki no dokumugi no tatoe o setsume shite kurusai to itta. Then he left the crowd and he went into the house. And his disciples came to him and said, Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. So we see the disciples don't really understand what Jesus is getting at with this parable, and they want him to explain it. So it says they went into the house. Ma hakiri to wa kara nai ke kara te nai desu kara demo tabun kore wa kafer nao ni peto no ie ga atta tokuro sono ie de shou shi esu wa soko de tomate koto ga atta mitai desu ne and we don't know for sure but where it says they went into the house this is probably Peter's house in Capernaum because we think Jesus was probably staying there at this time but Jesus answers shi esu wa kotai ni nari mas ne. Yoi tari o makumono wa hito no ko, tsumari shiezu go jishin desu ne. Hataki wa sekai, yoi tari wa mikuni no kora, sore wa deshitachi no koto shinja desu ne. Dokumugi wa warui mono no kora de aru, tsumari akuma no kodomo, akuma no eikyo o atairari te hito mata hoku ni mo. He answered, the one who sowed the good seed is the son of man. So that's Jesus speaking about himself there. And the field is the world. And the good seed stands for the sons of the kingdom. So that's the disciples or all the believers. And the weeds are the sons of the evil one. That's the people influenced by Satan uh, to be uh, bad in their actions, in their hearts. And the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age. And the harvesters are angels. Doku mugi o maite teki wa akuma. Kari iri wa yo no owari no koto de. Kari ireru mono wa chinshitachi de aru. And we see the angels have a part in this, that they're going to go out and help to gather the harvest. Chinshitachi mo, mo yaku wari ga arimasu ne. Koro yo no owari, sono shukaku o atsumeru koto ga arimasu. As the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out his angels and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. Dakara dokumugi ga atsume rare te hide yakareru yo ni yo no owari ni mo so naru no da. Hito no ko wa tinshitachi o squash tsumazuki to naru mono subete o Puho o okunao mono domo o jibun no kuni kara atsume sase. Moe sakaru ryo no nake ni nage komaseru no de aru. Karere wa soko de naki wameete hagishiri suru daro. Sono toki tarashi hitobito wa sono chichi no kuni de taiyo no yo ni kagayaku. Mimi no aru mono wa kiki nasai. And they will Throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him hear. So we see this is a parable talking about the end times, that the weeds and the wheat will grow together until the end of the age, when the harvest will come, and those who were evil will be gotten rid of in the fire, and the, uh, those who were believers, the righteous ones, uh, will be saved and they will have glory. 
これはもう終わりの日あの最後の時にもうあの裁判のことですね審判のことですねこれはその時にもう最後の日にその主格つまりその信者たちその正しい人たちと逆にあの悪いものが分かれてそしてもうその悪いものは火に投げられるその正しいものは栄光に現れるのです。And we see Christ is the judge on that final day 審判者であるクリストの絵ですけれどもその最後の日はシエスご自身はその審判者となります。天使たちを指示しています。And he's giving directions to his angels of what to do there. Now, we see this and we think, well, you know, it's talking about the whole world, the field. これは全世界のことを指していますね。もう畑というのはもう世界のことですね。この例え話の中。And it says that the weeds, the poisonous weeds, And the wheat will grow together until the last day. So, the Saiga no Hima de Mo, so no Doku Mugi to Mugi wa itcho ni mo seicho shite hiku no desu ne, shukaku no toki made. But this may cause us to ask some questions. Watashi tachi wa toto shitsumon shitai de sho. Tsumari, do shite kami wa ima sugu aku o tori no zoke nai no de sho ka. そしてなぜ世の終わりまで待つのでしょうか ?But why doesn't God get rid of the evil now?Why wait until the end of the age?So, who thinks that they wish God would get rid of the, all the evil now?Who wishes that God would just come right now and get rid of all the evil? もう神がすぐ、今すぐ、すべての悪を取り除くことを誰が望みますか望みますかまあ、そうですね。But let's look again what it said in Matthew 13, 28 and 29. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the wheat, you may root up the wheat with them. Matai, 13章、28節と29節をもう一回見てみましょう。しもびたちがでは、いて、抜き集めておきましょうかというと、主人は言った。いや、毒麦を集めるとき、麦まで一緒に抜くかもしれない。You know, God doesn't want any of those whose heart might turn to Him to be lost, removing the weeds too early. もう早すぎるその、uh, 毒麦を抜くと、もう信じるようになる、良い人となる人が一緒に抜いてしまう可能性があります。So, what this means is that God doesn't get rid of all the evil in the world now because He loves us so much and He wants each and every one of us to have opportunity to come to the faith. So, in the parable, the wheat is wheat and the weeds are weeds. Very simple, right? Well, Tatoe Banashi de wa mugi wa mugi, doku mugi wa doku mugi des, kantan des. But what you think, or what the people around think, are weeds, might become wheat, because that's the difference here. Is the, in the parable, there's no chance of the poisonous weeds becoming wheat. But in the real world, We know that people's heart changes and they turn to Jesus and they move from being one of the bad ones to one of the good ones with、uh, reconciliation with God and salvation. しかし、uh, 実はこの世の中、毒麦だとみなすものは麦になることがあるんですね。つまり、私たちは心が変えて、もしイエスを信じ、救われることがありますね。シエスの十字架上の見技によって、私たちは正しいものとみなされます。それで、もう、今すぐその悪と考えられるものを
取り除くと、もう多くの人は救いのチャンスはなくなりますね。In other words, the work Christ did on the cross provides the opportunity for everyone to be saved. And if we take that opportunity away by having the harvest too soon, then there may be many people lost who would otherwise be saved. God wants to give everyone time to believe in Jesus and become children of his kingdom. 神はすべての人がイエスを信じ、御国の子供となる時間をお与えになるのです。Do you remember what we saw last week in 2 Peter 3:9? Since you meet the Petro, Daini, no Tegami, Sancho, Kyusetsu, Oboetiri Shai Maska, Moikai, Miti Me Mosho. Let's look at 2 Peter 3 9 that we looked at last week. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Aruhito Tachi wa osoe to kangaiti iru yo desu ga. Shu wa チャンスが与えられていいと思います。Now, I think it's kind of hard sometimes to live in this world when there's a lot of,、uh, shall we say, bad actors around.、Uh, but God wants to give everyone the chance. And we also,、uh, at one point, we were not, you know, trusting in Jesus or walking with Him. So it's good that God gave us a chance to. 私たちも、uh, もうあるとき、もうイエスを信じていないうちにもう悪いことをいろいろしていて正しくないものでしたけれども神様は私たちにチャンスを与えて私たちをイエスと出会いができたら救われました。Let's look at another parable.、Uh, we jumped over this in the previous passage. 前に歌詞を読んでいるうちにちょっと飛びましたけれどももう一つの例えを見てみましょう。And this is the parable of the mustard seed. Karashi dane no tatoe to na te imasu ne.、Uh, we have a picture here,、uh, an etching actually, by John Lucan.、Uh, it's in the Bauer Bible from 1795, very old.、Uh, kono Bauer Seisho kara no ei desu kere demo. Kore wa karashi dane no tatoe o agai te imasu. Sore wa mo karashi dane ga mai te kara seichou shite okiku natta. And this is where the mustard seed was planted, and we see that the, it's come up. It's really usually just a bush, but it's come up very much as a tree here in this example. It's a very short parable, but let's take a look. He told him another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his field. イエスは別の例えを持ち出して、彼に言われた。天の国はカラシダレに似ている。人がこれを取って畑に撒けば、どんな種よりも小さいのに、成長すると、どの野菜よりも大きくなり、それの鳥が来て枝に巣を作るほどの木になる。Though it's the smallest of all your seeds, Yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. Now, sometimes people look at this parable, and especially、uh, where it appears in Mark chapter 4 and Luke 13, and they、uh, basically accuse Jesus of being wrong. They say he's made a mistake. Jesus says that the mustard seed is the smallest of all seeds. But we know from science that that is not so. There are a number of seeds that are smaller than it, especially the orchid seed is very small, much smaller than a mustard seed. Some 
この暮らし種はどの種よりも小さいとおっしゃりましたけれどもそうじゃなくてもっと小さい種があります特にランの種は暮らし種より小さいですしかしその当時のイスラエルの人々はランのことを知りませんでしたそれでイエスはもう例えばなしを作ってランの種を使って小さいと言ったら人々はもう何のものですかこの欄。困難になってしまうのです。やっぱりイエスは人がしている種を刺して、例えばなしを作っているのですね。But of course, the people of that time didn't have orchids, so they didn't know anything about orchid seeds. And if Jesus had tried to use orchid seeds in his parable, they wouldn't have understood it. They would have just been confused by what's an orchid. So Jesus, of course, chooses to use a seed that they are familiar with, one that they know. And that was the mustard seed, was the smallest of the seeds, not in the whole world, but in that time, the seeds that people know. So, the Jesus was when the crash of the tree was too big, but too big to be said. The Jesus was 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 too big to be said. So we always have to think about the context when we interpret、uh, scripture. もう聖書を解釈するときにいつもその文脈のことを考えないといけない。まずその箇所のことを考えて、uh, それは何が書かれています、その前、その後。でも次はいつ頃、どこで、誰に、言われた言葉ですかと考えないといけないですね。Uh, when we think about the historical context, we have to think about when we interpret the Bible. We can think, first of all, about the passage itself and what's before and after it in this. And Jesus telling parables, of course, is that context. But we also have to think about the historical context. Who is Jesus speaking to? Where is he at? You know, what is his intention here? And we have to do that. And also, of course, a parable cannot be taken literally. The very idea is that it's a story that provides an example. So it's unreasonable for somebody to complain about a detail in a parable as being a mistake. So, ste, mo i tozi desu ke ri demo, tatoe benashi to yu no wa, mo ji dori o mo kaishaku suru koto wa muri desu ne. Hajime kara tatoe desu no de, shi ezu ga tsukuta hanashi desu no de, se de mo. おかしい。そこから一つの細かいことを言って、これを間違いと言ったら、もう、例えだけですね。So what does it mean? どの意味があるでしょうか Well, Jesus planted the church in the world, and it grows so large, the birds, which means the evil ones, or evil, comes and perch in its branches. イエスはこのように教会を植えられた。それが成長して、エデに、So we see here that it tells us that although the church is a very good thing and God loves each and every one in the church, but the church will never be pure as long as it's in this world. Mixed in with the church, there will always be the birds, the ones who are not there、uh, to follow Jesus but are simply there to steal or to deceive. もう、uh, 聞いてそこに集まるのですね。もう、全世界の教会の歴史を考えてみ、uh, たら、もう、この教会の時代、の中、シエスの時代からずっと、今までは教会の時代と言われています。もう、本当に教会の中の悪い出来事、たくさんあります。で、それは、教会が悪いというわけじゃなくて、教会の大きな木の中に、この鳥、悪のものがもうとどまるのですね
So if we look at the history of the church, we can see that many, many bad things have happened in the church over history, and that's very sad. But it's not the church that's bad. It's just that the birds, the evil ones, have come and uh, perched within the church. Let's look at one more parable. He told him still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into a large amount of flour until it worked all through the dough. もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、も
シエスの御業救いの御業と教会のことを伝えられていますねそれはもう旧約聖書時代ずっと隠されたものでしたね。So let's look at one more thing. You know, Paul was very close to the Ephesian church and、uh, when he was going on to, to Rome, he stopped and he said goodbye to the Ephesian elders. パウロはそのエフェソの教会ととても親しい関係を持ってそしてもうローマへ行く途中でもうエフェソの長老たちにもうさよならというところもありましてねこれは死と二重症にあった出来事ですけれども And that happened of course in Acts chapter 20 and here we have、uh, somebody's drawing of Paul saying goodbye to the Ephesian elders And you can see the boat in the background there that he's getting ready to leave. この背景に船があって、もう前の方はポールはそのエフェスの長老たちにもうさえないというところとなっています。そして最後の教えも伝えていました。Of course, Paul was giving them some final lessons as he got ready to leave. And this is one of them. これはその中の一つ。死と二十章三十節。Acts chapter 20, verse 30. Even from your own number, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. But a n a t a g a t e j i s h i no naka kara mo, jasets o, totonete i d e s h t a c h i o s t a g a w a s e yo to, suru mono ga a r a w a r i m a s So he's speaking to the Ephesian elders and he gives them this warning that even from their own church, there will be people arise who will try to distort. The truth and draw out disciples to make their own group. Paul はこのもうエフェスのちょうどたちに話していますのでそれはもうエフェスの教会からでもこのようなもう騙すもの邪説を言われる弟子たちが出てくるとあ言われている人が出てきて自分の弟子を作ろうとするのですね。その教会の弟子、クリスト弟子じゃなくて、自分の弟子を作りたい人がいます。それは注意の言葉ですね。それで私たちには、もう識別が必要ですね。教会の中でも。And he warns the, the elders, you know, that even from their number, these people are going to come, who are going to fool others, and they're going to try to make their own disciples and draw them away from the church and away from Christ. So we need to have discernment. At all times. But we don't have to be afraid. We have the love of Christ. Christ の愛があって、そして、Christ が備えてくださった救いの道があります。私たちはそこに入って救われるので、もうずっとシエスと共に歩み、そして、もう最後の日に、その、もう、審判者の前に立つときに、シエスは栄光を与えてくださるのですね。彼と一緒に歩んできたものに。We don't have to be afraid because we, we have the, the good news of Christ. We have his work of preparing salvation for us. And as we come to him and are saved and we walk with him, we know that even on that last day、uh, when the great judgment comes, that we will be given an award of glory, you know, for following Christ if we walked with him and trusted in him. That's a promise in the Bible. But we do have to be careful and we have to look out for false prophets or false teachers、uh, trying to make their own disciples instead of disciples for Christ.、Uh, because that happens so much in this world and it's such a sad thing. 悲しいことに私たちは注意しなくてはいけないですね。識別が必要ですね。教会の中でも人が現れて、もう偽預言者、偽教師の人が現れて、もう自分の弟子を作ろうとしますね。クリストの弟子じゃなくて、自分の弟子たちを作って、もう新しいグループを作りたいとか、あまあ、残念ながらよくあります。しかし、シエスの愛。の中で私たちは希望があってもう恐る必要はないですね。But through the love of Christ, you know, we have great hope and we know that we don't have to be fearful. Let's close with Philippians 1 6. Philippi no isho no kset de oimashou. Anatagata no naka de 
joi waza o hajimirare de kataga kristo yes no himare ni sono waza o nashi togete kurusaru to watashi wa kakushin shite imasu これもパールの言葉です。フィリピンの教会。Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to the completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And this also is from Paul in his letter to the Philippians. Let's pray, and I'll pray in Japanese this time. お祈りします。イエスキリストの父なる神様、恵みを注いで、私たちに祝福してください。一人一人に。私たちの心を開いて、私たちがあなたの出会いができ、あなたと共に歩み、識別を持って、聖霊の導きによって、もう何が正しい教え、何が間違ったおかしい教えを分けることができるように、助けて導きください。聖書の中、たとえ、そして他の教えはたくさんありますけれども、それを理解して、あなたとあの親しい関係を作るための識別をお与えください。私たちが、あなたの御言葉をちゃんと解釈ができますように。私たちは弱いもの、よく間違ってしまいます。そしてこの世の中に悲しい、苦しいこと、たくさんあります。どうか一人一人を助けてください。守ってください。私たちにあなたの恵みと憐れみをお与えください。私たちはもう罪を犯してしまうこともありますけれども、あなたが苦さる許しが必要です。願います。すでに。あなたの大きな祝福を一人一人にお与えください。そしてこの教会に。あなたの恵みを注いでください。シーズンの尊い皆によってお祈りいたします。アーメン